I close my eyes and I hear a car go by, I imagine the sound. I can also imagine the space it's in. So I think of sound as creating a physical space. So it's, it's, it's sculptural. So sound, music, is the creation of something physical, not just um, eth ethereal vibrations that hit our ears. So, and, and if, if we're made up of molecules, and those molecules are made up of atoms that are dancing and moving and spinning, and those atoms have little electrons that are spinning around, then music is physical. It's, it's actually material. So we're made up of, of vibrating particles. Don't you think? I first met Asa. It was, I believe, at a um, at a performance. A performance artist had a show at her studio, and I remember we were both hugely underwhelmed by the actualization. We had read about it. We had read her manifesto and thought, "Oh, that's that's interesting. That's very interesting. We must we must go to that." And we got there, and it was poorly, poorly orchestrated. And I remember Asa said to me, oh, I've not been this disappointed since listening to, I think it was track 12 on the Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels greatest hits record. And I thought, oh, this is a man I should know, wow. And I said, oh, are you a musician then? And he said, yes. I said, what do you play? And he said, oh, I play the triangle. And I said, oh, in an orchestra? He said, no. And that baffled me. What Ace is doing right now is so different from everybody else. You know, everyone is, is over here, and Ace is, he's over here. It's like when you, when you first meet him, it's like slipping into the Bermuda Triangle. You, you forget yourself. Um, you know, it's like you vanish, vanish into the particles of air. I mean, when he performs, when he does, everyone will be able to see it and be able to experience that, what he, what he offers. And he's so cute too. When I was 13 years old, my dad had this barn, and it was built over this old well. And I was in there, like, playing with some of his old uh, farming equipment, or I don't know, probably banging on it. But I fell into this well, and, you know, it was uh, still full of muddy water and scraped my leg up. But I'm looking up at the void, you know, the circle up there, and like this moment of pure peace came over me. And it started a whistle with the air going through this, the barn and into the, the well. Started to make this like subtle whistling sound, kind of like the sound when you're like blowing into a bottle. But uh, that was an incredible moment for me. Just, I was so happy. Asa and I were making a lot of tapes for one another when we first began hanging out. And I remember I thought, oh, he should, he should hear that first Modern Lovers record. And 
I, I thought that the, the, the kind of dumbness of that and the simplicity and the innocence would really appeal to him. So I made him a tape of that. It's a very short album. It's maybe 35 minutes. And I asked him a couple days later what he thought of it. And he said, oh, I, I, I really love that 10th track. And I thought, well, well, no, there's no 10th track on that record. It's, there's nine tracks on it. And so I had him show me what he meant. And he, he gets to the last, last track and just fast forwards right through it. And then he turns the volume way up and we're just engulfed by this. And I said, Asa, that's not, that's not part of the record. That's, the record's over. That's just the tape running out. And he was forlorn. He, he was very sad and confused. And I think he's still very confused. Over the last few years, I've been in this process of, of letting go of so much. Uh, letting go of, really, of, com of the complexity of so much of the music that I was making. So, the idea was to just have this one thing, to, to restrain myself as much as possible, so that I'm, I'm just doing this one thing, I'm fo focusing on this one sound. The game is this, Asa, parlor game, originated in the 1930s. I say to you the name of a popular song. You must respond in kind with a song, and if possible, a coherent conversation will emerge. I will start with, heard it in a love song. I don't know that song. Well, see, you're not even trying. It's Marshall Tucker Band, I, I believe 1971. Beautiful, beautiful song. Kind of a AM soft rock country crossover ballad. I don't like that type of music. You don't like much of anything, Asa. Eh, That's not true. Oh, I believe that that is true. Name me, name for me one piece of popular music that, say, five of seven bourgeoisie would be familiar with. Slip side and away. Oh, Paul Simon. Well, that's a beautiful song, yes. I think it's actually very fitting that you should bring that up. There's a line within that song, the nearer your destination, the more your slip sliding away. away. Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very nice summation in a way. And I think that might be what you're responding to because you always seem to be approaching something only to throw your hands in the air and retreat into a corner. Now, I have occasional doubts about what I'm doing. You have constant doubts, Asa. Now, okay, may, maybe right now. Why are you doing this to me right now? Well, I'm not, try I'm not trying to bully you. I'm just, you, you have been approaching your music, you, this minimal thing, this, this other tiger you've been pursuing, and you want you you're reducing, you're reducing, you're reducing. That's exactly. And well, this is not 1941, Isa. You 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 can't simply say no, not this, not this, not this, only this, only this, only this, because only this. What is that? That is. Th Most music is still stuck in the illusion. In the, the land illusion. of Maya. Well, of course, uh, the entirety of music is an illusion. No, no, you see, you're missing the point of what I'm trying to do. You're trying to create an honesty. You're trying to th throw away tropes and bluffing and get to the root of sound. And Asa, people don't want to hear incidental sound. People want to hear a construction. People want to see what you've done. Well, then they, they'll miss the point. Just like all music. Most music. I don't know that misses. they will. I don't know that they will miss the point. There's something very beautiful about waking at four o'clock in the morning and hearing the low rumbling of a freight train and thinking, oh, this is, this is a sound which I have heard and which has brought this 
eerily sublime feeling to me. And it's not on tape, it's not on record, it's part of life, and you can't try to put your name on that Asa. Larger beater will make a louder sound. <laughs> I think that's a G. That's a goat. G. Yeah. yeah. I'm Asa, by the way. Crazy J. Crazy dude. Nice to meet you, dude. Hey, Graham. Graham? Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. I think Dolphins. you're missing the point about, about karma, though, is that how important desire is in uh, is holding us to the illusion of this world. So, the goal is to lose desire. I think you might be full of shit. Hello, my name is Asa. I'm going to be performing tonight. This is one I've been working on a long time. 2882. If you could give me silence. It was bullshit. I mean, listen to it. The man Were you is guys trying even to... there? It the was man... complete bull. I mean, they don't even know what fucking music is, you know? I mean. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm okay. 
Asa had asked myself and Natalia to come to this. Wait, it was actually Natalia told me about the venue. Natalia had told you. Yeah, she told me about the venue. Regardless, I, mean, I, I didn't even know what it. Regardless, what it looked like. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was taken from my home to this gathering with this myriad Philistines, and and here I found myself sitting on a couch, and. And and there was there was punk rock music that my that would make I don't know say the the Iggy and the Stooges look like Hans, the Hanson twins brothers what have you and it was fucking pathetic and and there I found myself sitting on a couch and then Asa feels the need to go up upon the stage and perform his triangulars and my word it was an oral raping. <clears throat> what, 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 why have you brought me here, Asa? Look, I didn't know what it looked like, all right? I didn't know what the venue looked like. I was just... The venue, my God. You were not ready, my friend. You were I, not ready. It's just the wrong one, you know? The wrong they just one. Didn't, it's just the wrong people. My word. It's the wrong people. You know, like you said, Philistines. I don't know that you have the right people, Asa. It just... It was really bad. A fucking travesty. It was really bad. A fucking travesty, really. Triangle is like a key. 
to learn about things in life. You no know, triangle, triangle represent. I mean, everything that is alive, you know, in the world obeys to the law of triangle. The law of triangle is everywhere, right? In the material, scientific. You can prove it scientifically. There has to be two opposites to create a manifestation in the world or in the mental world. And from those opposite points, you having a third one which goes with the triangle. Like the resolution. Like the solution. Yeah. Like the creation. Yeah. Because while you have two points, you don't have a creation. You need a third point to have a creation. And that's why the triangle shows the light. Makes sense. So, so what do you think of the concept of history, though, as this triadic thing? History? Yeah, is that, I mean, because that's the Hegelian system. 